Hello, hello. I've arrived. All right, so, Tales of Arise. Let's see, business first. So, today, Tales of Arise, like I said. Tomorrow, let's see, I think. Tomorrow, well, I don't know. Tomorrow, we will see. I don't expect any particular issues with tomorrow's stream. <clears throat> yeah, it is very close to the to the Christmas holiday, so that could change some things. But as of right now, I'm not expecting any any uh, outages in service, so to speak. But yes, I should be. I expect to be streaming as per normal on Thursday, one way or the other. I will just have to confirm that with Sheps. Yeah, because Thursday is our uh, ongoing VM. VA11 Hall A Cyberpunk Bartender Action Stream Collab event thing. <laughs> yes, so that'll be tomorrow. And then on Friday, uh, maybe, maybe nothing. I don't know. <laughs> yes, given... Given what I currently know of my holiday-related plans, I will likely be busy for a good portion of Friday, and I may not be able to stream as a result. So we'll see what we'll see what that day brings. Hopefully, it will bring more tale of a rise if everything goes as maybe not as planned, because as of right now, I don't know what precisely my plans are. But if everything goes as if everything goes nice then I should be able to make some time for Tales of Arise. But if not, then, well, I hope you all have a, <laughs> you will all have a fine holiday without me. Of course, I guess it doesn't begin that day, but I definitely won't be streaming on the holiday itself. So. Yes. So, let's see. Next week, again, I am also expecting to not be streaming next Friday, potentially. It could go either way, but... Yeah, I'm currently working under the assumption that I will not be streaming next Friday, one way or the other. But yeah, soon I should be, I should have a more definitive answer to that question, but that is currently what I am looking at, or what I am expecting. Other than that, next week should be pretty much normal. But yeah, 30, about 30 minutes late today, unfortunately. I had a lot of technical issues getting started here, but uh, everything has been resolved at this point, more or less. A lot of untraceable errors occurred, just sort of issues where I needed to... I couldn't figure out what happened, but when I restarted the computer, it stopped happening. Which I don't quite consider a fix, but I guess it's working now, so I can't complain too much. But yes, so... What else is there to say before we get started? Oh, right, right. First of all, Chinkukuma BT, thank you for the follow. My notifications are working again. I don't know. I didn't do anything to fix them, so I don't know why they're working now when they weren't working earlier. But once again, Chinkukuma BT, thank you for the follow. And Venomous Asta, thank you for the follow. I realize the names are getting covered up here. Hold on, that's no good. Can't let that happen. Let's see. That should be... Nope. Hold on. Why are my sources wrong? Ah, okay. There we go. Ba -ba. So, once again, <laughs> Chinkukuma VT, thank you for the follow. Venomous Asta, thank you for the follow. And since my notifications were still broken when I uh, thank you for the follow, then thank you again for the follow. <laughs> All right, so that should be that. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I said the times, but yes, tonight, now, tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, Friday, if it happens, 8, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, most likely. And so... I think that should be everything that we need to go over before we get started. So let's get started then. Let me just get my... Make sure all of my audio is as it should be before we move on over. Oh! Okay, I didn't... Oh! Interesting. 
Uh, well, hmm. I don't know why that's happening, but I do know that the alerts are once again in the wrong place. So I guess this is an opportunity to fix that. Hmm. Uh, there we are. Anyway, so we don't have game video, which is unfortunate, or game audio for that matter. Do I? It is plugged in. Yeah, well, it has to be plugged in. The capture card has to be plugged in. If it wasn't, I wasn't, wouldn't be getting game video on my monitor. But yes. So, <laughs> pardon me for a moment while I go and fix this. All right, the video has returned. And do we have game audio? If you'd be so kind as to play music game. Oh, no, okay, right, I forgot. I can just move around the menu. So yes, we do have game audio, as far as I can tell. We have game, we definitely have game video because I can see it with my own two eyes. So, video games. So yeah. Yeah, trying to think. What was sort of the... Yeah. I guess, yes. Okay. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Probably should do that we now that I think about it. Wait, no, hold on. All right, we cannot check in on the ranch at the camp. We need to talk to the merchant. Right. Pardon me. Yes. Harvest some livestock. Raise some livestock. We're doing pretty good for gold, so I'm not I'm still not going to be concerned too much with that. But yes. So I already went over weapons and all that. There's nothing that new that I can craft that I want to craft. Oh actually, I remember I do need to create a copy of taming water for that's not the weapon. Yeah, a copy of taming water for Rinwell. We did we ever do that? I did do that. I just didn't check back in with that NPC. Well, that's not a huge deal, I don't think. Yeah, we'll see her again, I'm sure. But yeah, so anyway. I want to sort of give a recap of what we did, but last time wasn't super eventful. Eh, I guess it, it was eventful, but it wasn't story progress eventful. But, but yes, so I guess... As a quick recap of what we did in this realm that we are now leaving, we uh, we assisted the people of this place. For the first time, we encountered a realm where the the uh, Danon natives were not uh, incredibly, incredibly uh, sad under the rule of the of their uh, Renan uh, oppressors, because indeed this was a place of not equality per se, but it was a, a place of relative peace. A place where Bannons were afforded respect. But yes. And so, the issue there was not so much in the... Yeah, not that the place needed to be immediately liberated, as is our typical goal upon reaching the place, but that instead there was a terrible conspiracy going on. Exploiting the Danon people beh behind the back of the, of the ruler of the realm. Dohalim, who we now have in our party. Something feels is this guy here. here. Be on your guard. But yeah, he didn't think he was too much of a... He didn't think too highly of his own motives in bringing peace to his realm, but I think he's probably worth more than he gave himself credit for. 
anyway, time for more character interactions. Why is that? Both of my parents were part of the resistance in Calaglia. In fact, my birth was kept a secret from the Renans. Hmm. Interesting. We always lived in hiding, so I never had a spirit core embedded in me like I was supposed to. What about you, Alfin? You were a slave in Calaglia before all this, weren't you? That's a good to question. Honest, I guess, not yeah. Sure why I, don't have one. I guess all the other Alfin would not be qualified to answer that question. I was the only exception. They tended to keep their distance from me to avoid attracting any attention from the soldiers because of my mask and all. Yeah. And what about you, Kisara? Do you still have your spirit core? No. I was able to find a good Renin doctor who's sympathetic to our kind and had them remove it before I left. Hmm. They did such a great job, the procedure didn't even huh. leave a scar. You saw her used you know, to have one? Benefits of coexistence, huh? Well, I guess, I yes, chronologically, down, but in the time that we've known her, the way that she phrases hurry. before we left. But still, I didn't like having that mark of servitude lingering on me any longer than I had to. Hmm. It may sound a little strange to hear me say this, but I'm just me now. Not a guardsman or a slave. Yeah, so definitely a little bit woman. bothered today. So and I guess that's mo even more reason beginning. to make it a little bit of a shorter stream. Which I don't, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I am planning on having this be relatively short. Probably only going for about an hour or so. Because, uh, yeah, I've got some, some work that needs doing, and I want to double check that everything is good with both of my computers. Because my desktop is currently running... It's not running a lot hotter than usual, but it's definitely running a lot louder than usual. And also, at the end of last stream, my uh, laptop crashed, which uh, is a matter of some concern. So I want to make sure everything's good with both this of them. This sure is one rugged road. You'd think they'd keep this at least a little better maintained, right? Why spend energy fixing that which is rarely used? Repairs require time and effort, which in our world means slaves, often in great numbers. Ah, for you, it may be a simple request, but that can quickly become another's difficult burden. Nobody gains anything without someone expending effort. And you know, somehow that someone always ends up being a Danon, while the Renans are the ones who gain. Mm. True enough. Ideally, in a perfect world, I think it's only fair that the ones who need it should be the ones to perform the work. However, when doing so could be dangerous like it is here, there are many who would prefer that it be others who risk their lives just... in their stead. So, what you're saying yes, is that the audio is still there. The I don't need to worry too much about it. To I should check them? on it every now and then. But I don't. Maybe I don't need to draw attention to be no checking on it. that feeling that inevitably take action. <clears throat> much like the Danans in our group do so now. As strange as it may be to hear such a thing from the likes of myself. It's true that most of the Danans in Calaglia have been resigned to just accepting things as they are. Still, we can't just blame them for... <sighs> what are you making that face for? You're not worn out already, are you? Thinking about, <sighs> nah, thinking about just building roads, I maybe. Said anything in the first place. Yeah, these... I don't think these are new creatures, but we'll fight them anyway. It might be, actually. Ah, since... Yeah, we don't have Shion in the party, I guess, now. Not a huge deal, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, not a huge deal, but... Because, yeah, I don't think... I don't think her actual, like, standard moves necessarily do any extra damage to, uh, flying enemies. It's just her... her boost attack. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Alright, alright, we're doing good with Law today, actually. Like, unusually well. Very good, very good. Let's see, am I still under the effects of steel, I wonder? It's probably an indicator to tell. It might be those little ones underneath the... On the... Under the left half of the, uh... Little eighth, uh, bar there. Oh, yeah? Think you could beat me at arm wrestling? When have I not beaten you? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think... I'll just go on ahead then. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that you did have some... You did do some arm wrestling earlier in some sort of cutscene and then lost their law. So, maybe don't get too excited. 
This is a pain. Why can't this Zoogle stand still? All right. <laughs> Perhaps it's time I deploy my secret weapon. I'll stop it right where it stands. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Hongi attack. Didn't we already get a tutorial on this? Hmm. I thought we did, but maybe we haven't. Either way. Throws vines from the grounds to ensnare enemies and strike them. Effect on fleet-footed enemies. This nullifies their evasive abilities and downs them. Okay, so when it says evasive enemies, or... Yeah, when it says evasive enemies, I wonder if that means that, like, enemies with, like... I'd assume that it just meant enemies who were fast. But it seems almost as though they mean specifically enemies that... Yeah, it, that they specifically mean enemies that have, like some sort of dodge ability, like some inherent ability to reduce the, or yeah, to a chance to not take damage when they, you know, when they, yeah, when you attack them. Ooh, new move, nice. Hopefully that'll be a little bit use more useful than Tornado Dive, which has been questionable to me. Hmm. Alright, so that didn't count. Do I need to hit two unique fast enemies? I thought I just had to hit two fast enemies in general. But, oh well. Now that... <laughs> that wasn't gonna hit. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. Oh no, that did. Okay. So yeah, the, what? the enemies now have green legs. Which I assume means something. <laughs> I assume that implies that whatever whatever ability of theirs is what makes them considered evasive enemies is disabled currently. <clears throat> and fast enemies like wolves or monkeys appear. Send in Dohalin. His boost attack will nullify their evasive abilities and keep them from dodging attacks. So yeah, it does sound like specifically what they mean is... They're using sort of the terms fast and evasive... Kind of, uh, almost interchangeably, really. Which is not completely unfair, I suppose. Things that are fast are generally also evasive. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, actually, yeah. That enemy just did, like, a big, a big dodge. Did something that resembled a big dodge. So I think that's probably what they're, what they're talking about. So, yeah. Yeah, that enemy definitely jumped across the battlefield. So it's probably. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself yeah, useful to you. I won't talk over them while huh? they speak. What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. Uh oh. What? You mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh. uh... That's it. Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Rinwell's always curious. Oh, uh, yeah. I think he might have found some old Danon relics. Ooh, nice. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. Hmm. And yet here I this am. This sounds interesting. Without so much as a second thought, I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really. Just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that. Unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Man, we really need Charm to work on... A <coughs> turn of phrase. We might need to work on I Rinwell's attitude a little bit. Give me a sense of what their maker was thinking. The history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. Mm. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. Law is it's not bad, the most cultured not like man. Stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old, real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. Hmm. Oh, very true. Very true. Your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. Crocodile crusher. Ages ago, this worn-down hammer was used to beat back crocodiles. Those skilled enough to dual-wield it were lauded as champions. Artifacts. Artifacts confer special effects simply by having them. 
some of which serve as bonuses that can be enjoyed after clearing the game. You can toggle each of these effects on or off from the artifact, artifact effect list. Interesting. You can now set six additional arts. Press triangle on the art screen to switch between panels. Arts, are, arts that are set to the second panel can be executed either by pressing L2 or can be executed by pressing L2 in either triangle, square, or, or X. Alright. <clears throat> That's pretty nice, I must say. Go home. Treasure Hunter. <clears throat> More arts gauge. Nice, nice. Normal attack limit. Not bad. Pretty good. That's especially good, actually. I sense a strange power from this. With so, this, what do we get from that, I wonder? Well, that's not where we look at it. Uh, artifacts. Crocodile Crusher. Okay, so that just gives us the... Yeah, what we just got. Gator Cannon. Hmm. Yeah, I assume, well... It's pretty clear that that refers to another game that Bandai Namco made. All right, hold on. Hold on. Arts, right. It was arts that we just got more, the ability to equip more of. So that's, okay, honestly, yeah, that is, I just, I just came to the realization that that is not only good, that is very good, if I do say so myself. Because that means that I can have my healing arts on my healers, while also having them with a full set of, you know, non-healing arts. Physical ailments, HP, resurrection. Very good, very good. Oops. Stay on this. <coughs> oh, and it's interesting that you can equip... I guess it makes sense, but yeah, it's interesting that you can equip the multiple... the art multiple times on, like, the two different sets. But yeah, this will grant us a lot of flexibility, I must say. I don't... Honestly, I've only had, like, the one art on Dohalim. The one non-healing art on Dohalim for so long that I've kind of forgotten. Or, well, I've never had the chance to even see, really, uh, what most of these arts do. Yeah, we just got... Oh, we've had a couple... We've had a... We must have had a couple... couple of... Aerial arts on Dohalim for a while then. And yeah, I guess I don't need to set anything to this because if I want to use any of these, I can just not just not press L2. Alright, alright. Yes. I think I feel like at this point I've probably whatever it is was I was going for with Kisara, I think I've probably done it already, maybe. But then again, maybe not. I don't know, I think I did. I don't I don't remember anymore what I was trying to get from Kisara by having her equip those specific abilities. Hmm, where's her Oh right. She doesn't have the same icon because she doesn't yeah, she's not a healer properly. <coughs> Pardon. Gonna mute it for that. Yeah, I think probably I won't worry about Kisara right now. I'll focus on the characters that I want to use, or that I'm thinking about using. I'll put the general set of healing arts on Chion. Yeah, I think... I thought she had a... Recover... There we go. Yeah. I was gonna say, I thought that she had a... Yeah, a, an ailment recovery art, and she, in fact, did. Yeah, the rest of this... Well, actually, yeah. Switch that over. Um, Celestra sounds... <clears throat> it sounds new, at least. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to... Okay, we've encountered the place with light creatures. Well, actually, mostly it was water creatures that we encountered there. Place with fire creatures and place with earth creatures. So probably, most likely, we're going to encounter an area with wind creatures. So, I think if we want to choose an element, it would be Earth. But I don't know that Chion has any Earth abilities. So, we've already got Gravitas Field. Um, let's put Celestra on, I suppose. Yeah, no, yeah, no Earth arts on Chion at all, it seems like, actually. Which is not a huge deal. 
he's not in the party anyway, <laughs> currently, but. And yeah, I don't feel the need to switch any more of these on at basically anyone else. Actually, hold on. Did I ever... I want to make sure that I have... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I now have things that are not Tornado Drive on Dohalim. That's good. Even stronger. Indeed. Visibility along this path will remain limited for some time. Take care not to get ambushed. I'm surprised you know the terrain here so well. Lords don't strike me as having much time for wandering in the woods. You'd probably Sometimes be surprised. I along here when I wish to be alone. You always did have a bad habit of disappearing without telling any hmm. of us guardsmen. That, I imagine, would definitely be the sort of thing that Kisara would not like. But yeah. Yeah, Earth. We've, yeah, we've been to the Earth Realm. We've been to the Light Realm, which functioned more as an Ice Realm and thus had a water theme. We were just in the Earth Realm. I think I said fire also. Yeah, anyway. Birds. No choice. Okay. Oh, Shion's not quite ready yet, it seems like. No issues. Oh, I was paying... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the right thing, and even if I was paying attention to the right thing, I wasn't and the... I didn't have the right timing. Got a little bit too excited there, I guess. Hmm, okay. I guess, I was gonna say, it's a shame that I can't, like, you know, launch at them so I can start an air combo, but they're flying at me, so I can basically always air combo them. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. I think that should be the last of these birds, if my intuition is correct. Why not? <laughs> a little bit unnecessary, but... We like some we like style around here. It's so hilly around here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. Yeah, I suppose it's pretty hilly. Yeah, I was gonna say this isn't the hilliest that we've been around, but it kind of has been. comfortable with them then? Oh yeah, we used to run up and down these slopes all the time for our training. These creatures look very new. They're the same. They're a type of creature that we've already seen. Well then, I should probably think about tonight. Well, I was kind of hoping to avoid, uh, <clears throat> kind of hoping to avoid, yeah, getting, yeah, getting interrupted there, but it is what it is. Hmm. But yes. I'm a little bit distracted, thing. I'm a little bit tired, to be honest. So, yeah, these things are putting, yeah, hold on. Oops. Well, it's already used the card, I think. I do still need to uh, look into. I need to look into how uh, <coughs> targeting with support abilities works, especially now that I'm more inclined to play support characters more, given that I can have non support abilities on them. Yes. Uh, well, no, okay. Don't have, don't have an Astral Art on. Or don't have the boost break on. Or the boost attack on Rinwell currently. I can't steal its art, unfortunately. Hmm. I was thinking... Oh, dear. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was thinking that the these enemies were... That they were casting the shields on each other with, with their art. But that one just did a thing that wasn't a shield with an art. And granted, it doesn't necessarily only have to have one art, but... It is what it is, I suppose. I was going to comment on how Kisara and Xion have full HP compared to the rest of the party, but I guess that makes sense, considering that they've not been, you know, in the battles. What were people even thinking back then? Trying to build anything around here. This is a pretty nice Maybe place to live. That much time and energy on their hands. It looks nice. Maybe it's not the most convenient, but it looks nice. I guess, yeah, these enemies don't count as flyers, I don't think. Mechanically speaking. They, well, I don't know, that one did get knocked down. I don't know that it was explicitly an effect of Xion's astral art, or... I keep getting my terms mixed up. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's a... 
I guess using the wrong terms is better than completely completely failing to remember what the terms are at all, but at least now I am aware of the term boost boost, uh, boost attack, whereas before I if I remembered it at all, it was uh it was pretty un pretty rare. Pretty rare that I actually remembered the term. Not bad, not bad. All aboard the victory train! Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. Yeah, this is a lovely landscape. It'd make for a fine fine thumbnail, I think. Thumbnails are always on my mind. And nice pictures too. <sighs> I sure I've built up a sweat with this hike. Rest assured, we have reached the top. It's all downhill from here. Quite literally. So I'm assuming probably just ahead, then? Indeed. If you look, across this mountain is the Lord's keep. Hmm. Mm. And we see that from here, actually. Is that what that is? Presumably not. <laughs> anyway. So given that this seems to be the way that we're supposed to go, let's not go that way immediately. Instead, let's investigate around here, some more wheat. And back down back down the hill, there was a little side path that I saw. I avoided it initially because I, I suspected that it might be the required path, but uh, it seems that I was wrong. Yeah, it definitely feels like we're getting, generally speaking, higher level materials now than we were before, which is good, given that we, you know, need those to make higher higher level weapons. <laughs> but yeah, we're probably... I was thinking that we were fairly close at the end. But we're probably, probably not quite as close as I thought we were. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that that art that they do is not any sort of... Uh, not a shield, or, yeah, not a shield or armor that Law could break with his boost attack. You sure showed them. All in a day's work. Because, yeah, I don't think we were getting level or fourth level materials before. Uh, seeing those items just reminded me. Do we, do we still have... What do we have for, for a tactic? Okay, yeah, we're not using items. Another thing I should do once we're once we're done here is I should probably, like I sa was saying earlier, I should probably keep a few sets of tactics that I don't need to just go into each one manually turn each of these off and on when I want to use different different tactics. This will give me an opportunity to sort of think about what I really want. Yeah, so these should be. Yeah, these were the enemies that were fast before. Yes. So, that, yeah, that green effect on their legs means that they are, oh dear. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I'm pretty low on HP here. But yeah, anyway. So the green... Hmm. Alright. So, can we resurrect our good friend? Cool. Alright, so, destroy them, please. Thank you. Uh, I need to heal. I need to heal. But yeah, there's nothing... Who did I just heal? Hmm. Alright, so we just healed Law. Hmm. Alphen... Okay, Alphen will not go down. Very good. I was very worried there for a second about uh, Alphen's chances of survival, but we live, so it's fine. But yes. Hmm. I don't remember, that is a launcher, so I should keep it... I mean, if nothing else, it launches me, so I probably shouldn't do it unless I, you know, am going to uh, follow up with an aerial combo. Ooh! Oh, rotating pile driver is pretty cool looking. Very nice, very nice. Ah. Uh, if I kept that up a little bit, I could have done a cool move, but to be honest, rotating pile drive is a pretty cool move. And we gotta we got to do a cool move anyway. So it's fine. I've been doing really great lately. You have been. We appreciate the moral support. Stonewing mantle. A mantle made by tying together hardened Zoogle wings. 
Even in their altered state, the wings still hold trace amounts of astral energy. This looks nice and tough. Indeed. Once again, I don't think we've had a single character thus far comment on a piece of armor that we equipped when that is a piece of armor that they specifically could equip. Which is a little bit funny still. <laughs> There we go. That should be, yeah, that should be another healing item, or not healing item, another upgrade item. I don't know why I said should be once I, you know, saw it and read the description and all that, but, <clears throat> you know. I started saying it before I saw what it was, and then I saw what it was as I was talking about it. Yeah, I started, I knew what it, eh. I continued talking about it as I knew what it was, and I just didn't think to revise what I was saying. Which is fine, I suppose. Yeah, Shan really does get her, her boost attack pretty frequently, huh? Yeah, I can definitely feel the effect of the skills that we've been learning recently. Yeah, we're definitely, you know... I'm getting a little bit better at controlling the characters, but beyond that also, the characters themselves are getting better. A nice feeling, this sort of feeling of, uh, yeah, feeling of improvement, gradual growth and all that. <clears throat> One of the things you like to see in an RPG, you know? Yeah, I've got to say, I definitely, I feel like the... Yeah, the character progression in this game has been a little bit more satisfying than it was in uh than it was in Nino Kuni. Where other than getting like new <coughs> active abilities, the characters didn't change all that much. Whoops. Wrong one. Well, cancelled it anyway, so I can't complain too much. But yeah, so again, beyond getting new new like abilities that they could use, new active abilities, they didn't get like new passive abilities much. At least I don't remember them doing so in, uh, back in Nino Kuni. Alright, let's focus on something else for the time being. When is Law not feeling often uh, unnecessarily confident? Or perhaps less than unnecessary, uh, not unnecessarily, but uh, unjustifiably confident, perhaps sometimes. Well... I say that, but he might have just set us up to uh, finish off the. Oh nope, I was gonna say, might have set us up to finish off the finish off this whole fight in a cool style, but not quite. Hmm. Okay, so that's Death Blossom then. That was pretty cool. We'll give him that. I'm even stronger than before. You are. That's just what I was talking about. Yeah, definitely more more customization in this game too. In terms of what abilities you can get and when. Verdant green, my eyes alight for sights unseen. In Menencia, pure and pristine. What is Since this? Exactly? Hmm. That's not for me to say. Hmm. This seems to be where we should be going. So let's not go there. Instead, let's jump down a pit. Because I I noticed there's a pit over here. Oh, actually, hold on. Wrong button. Hmm. I guess, okay. No, never mind. So I should have followed my instincts and just gone there because all of these... <clears throat> or no, right. I'm trying to... <laughs> I forgot what the icon for... Uh... I forgot what the icon for... Yeah. With the area that we're supposed to go is. Our main quest is. What's this place here? Some kind of old house? Hmm. Doesn't seem that. very home homey. Probably should have Let's stepped see. further away from them, considering that I was trying to give Rinwell a chance to speak. But we'll give Rinwell a chance to use her boost attack properly for the first time in a good while. Yeah, not a whole lot of enemies use arts, and when they do, I often don't think of Rinwell, to be honest. Unfortunately. Hmm. Is this thing in the sky? Okay, it did, it did break immediately when she unshot it, which would seem to imply... Actually, doesn't it say boost break when you break an enemy with a boost attack that is, you know, effective against them? I think it does, yeah. 
So perhaps then, yeah, it was not a uh, was not a case of a. These are not flying enemies, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> not flying enemies. Oh hi. You could use some assistance, it seems like. I was so preoccupied dealing with a zoogle, I slipped and fell. Make sure you don't uh, make the same mistakes as me. Oh, don't worry about it. We fall off of cliffs very intentionally. Raging Storm Beak. A beak that seems as if molded from dark astral energy itself. Its pitch black tip is sharper than a spear, striking fear in its enemies. Yes, all of our cliff falling off ofs have been quite, quite intentional. Quite intentional. Astral ore. Ore containing a large amount of astral energy. When refined cur Carefully, the astral energy can be retained for future use. Nice, nice. I suppose that's probably a lot of what they were mining for back in, uh, yeah, back in Nut and in Sia. Oh no, okay. I was about to, oh, ah, no, just a second too late, unfortunately. But you can steal at least one out there. There's the one I was fighting, I think it's this one. Okay, yeah, so the, yeah, the icon that just came up, the icon that just came up, oh dear, is the, uh, or the set of icons that just came up are the icons that came up last time when I was wondering what the icon for steel looked like. So presumably, you know, that's what that is. Probably those aren't steel specific because it just seems to be a attack boost icon and a magic attack or elemental attack boost icon. <laughs> rather than a specific icon for a specific ability. Let's see if we can launch you. No, okay, unfortunately. But yeah, what was the what was the other one that I was using? The the other aerial move. Death Blossom, there we go. So that seems like a move move that's a little bit better on a closer enemy. Compared to Eagle Dive, which is what for one that's a little bit further away. Probably one that you're already juggling too. Just based on the experience that I've had with it. I think Hoodle's hungry. Funny. Aren't we all? I could have sworn that was your stomach making all the racket. Yeah, no no camps nearby, unfortunately. I imagine we're probably not gonna run into one down here either. Ah, treasure, nice. This. So, if you would be so kind, Dohaline. Okay, yeah, boost break, boost break. So yeah, it does have a specific, specific, unique, uh, specific, unique prop that comes up when you break an enemy with a boost attack that is effective against them. <coughs> yeah, versus just a normal break, which is another very nice feature. If you'd be so kind as to follow. Oops. And there we go. Yeah, it does it doesn't seem like you need to necessarily like hold down the button from the time that you start the art that initiates that attack. Nice, nice. But yeah, high praise there. Okay, so yeah, Glimmer Dragon is good for if an enemy is already in the air. Yeah, Glimmer Dragon is good for if they're already in the air. But, uh... Yeah. But yeah, Death Blossom definitely seems to be sort of a... more of a... a move for if the enemy is on the ground, I think. It seems to... it seems almost like it, that's sort of the, the expected use case of it. You can probably use it too as a, yeah, as a, what would the term be for knocking an enemy out of the air? You know, I know a launcher would be for lo for knocking the enemy into the air. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Zone Wing Mage Goat. What was the, we got a mantle before. I thought that was also for Rinwell. Anyway. A mage coat made by by tying together hardened Zugal wings. Even in their altered state, the wings still hold trace amounts of astral hey, energy. New equipment. Hmm. Who wears mantles then? Ah, okay. Dohalim. 
I guess that explains why it was a term that we didn't see before. It's an entirely new type of armor. And this? Sh no. I was going to say, that seems like climbable vines, but it seems that they perhaps are not. Hmm. Yeah, those are the mushrooms. There's some ore over there that we already got. There's enemies over... Or no, we didn't get the ore. Never mind. I was going to say, there's enemies that we didn't fight, but I don't feel particularly like fighting them if I can avoid it. Gotta pick your battles sometimes when you're running on a little bit of a shorter timeline than usual. Of course, we're still not making any story progress, most likely. This, yeah, okay, yeah, this is where the ladder vines are. Okay, okay. Yeah, no signs of a camp around here either. Probably one in the next map over, wherever that would be. Next map over where we need to go. That one will lead to another area. This just leads to a subset of this area. I do kind of want to explore this area more thoroughly. And we're not doing... We do have fairly... Yeah, no, we've got relatively low HP in addition to our low cure points. So probably... Probably it would be best if we... Yeah, moved on and found a chance to rest. Because I don't want to go back to the... I don't want to go back to the camp that we were already at at the start of this, the video. The stream, even. I, I don't want to go back there. Inhibitor crystal. A crystal that blocks any and all astral arts. Although found in the earth, it may not be a natural phenomenon. Okay, actually, hold on. Given that we're now going uphill... And Dohalim said that we'd be going downhill. Probably this is not where we need to go, but you know. I might as well hang around here anyway. Maybe there is a camp up here. That's it. <clears throat> Alright, there is a camp up here. Oh. Now that's something, isn't it? Oh, quite the sight indeed. All right, I cannot help but think that this is probably going to be significant. Probably nothing we need to concern ourselves with right now, but significant nonetheless. You can smell them from all the way over here? That's quite impressive, I must say. We almost had an unintentional cliff falling off of there. I was just about to eat my words that I gave to that person that we helped. Yes, and we still need... Isar still needs to cook, I think. So we'll give her the option to... Wait, why am I petting you? Why wouldn't you, Law? Come on. You're petting him because you have good taste. Because you understand things. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. Nice. All right, let's talk to since since she just cooked. Let's talk to Kisara. Why not? Talk for a bit. Well, that we've had a conversation, Sorry a camp conversation so with her before. Oh no, it sounds don't like we sweat. did actually. It was fun hearing you reminisce. Right, right, right. I remember days. she was talking about Come her brother. On, you don't right. have to pretend with me. I know I can tend to go on sometimes. When it comes to my brother. Listen, we love you lore here. Me. We love the lore. Anyway, I don't think it's something for you to be embarrassed about. <clears throat> We're always about hey, character interactions. Alfin, when you were a kid, was there ever a time when you had to bury someone younger than you? Hmm. Well, a serious topic. To say. I'm guessing that you have, though. Yeah. During the previous crown contest with the Lord before Dohalim, life back then was truly hell. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I tried to ignore what Nagal was telling me for so long. Because I was afraid of going back to such a dark time, of losing hope. 
I wanted to believe in our paradise so much that I doubted the one person I should have trusted most. I don't blame Lord... blame Dohalim for that. I simply didn't want to face facts. And I ended up trying to project my ideals onto everyone else. It's strange. Whenever you and Dohalim talk about Menencia, it's always like it's some big failure. Mm. We're That's talking true. about fixing 300 years worth of damage here. Isn't it a bit optimistic to think it was all going to be resolved after only five? You might be right. Maybe it was a mistake when Menencia... No. When I decided to stop seeing the darkness in our society. I have to admit the truth. To myself, first mm. of all. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Yes, thank you for sharing, Isara, as always. Rise and shine. Mm. We're almost ready to leave. So, let's see. We've been streaming for just over an hour here. But I don't think we'll stop just yet. That was intentional, despite the fact that it did not necessarily look like it. I wonder if we can... We probably can't do much exploring here. The, the entrance, it seems like, is blocked. And the side paths are also blocked, so... Not this way, I guess. I guess. Alright, well... I thought I might get to see at least some sights in that tower. You know what? Actually, let's talk to this merchant. What are you? What are your thoughts uh, on your place of business? That old tower on the ridge it stands on have long since been overrun with zoogles. I'd only venture up there if you know exactly what you're doing. I take it you must know exactly what you're doing then. I've given my warning. What you do next is all up to you lot. Well... We can't get up there, so not uh, not much to be said about it at the moment, I suppose. This is the wrong way. This very this is a very scenic scenic point, though. Ooh, I missed an item. The good thing I was <laughs> good thing I was keeping the the specific point of view that I was. Yeah, I've been a little bit lax with uh taking screenshots in the past few streams. I haven't had as many options to choose from when I go to make thumbnails. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That. That is the... That is what Dohalim was pointing towards when uh, talking about the, the next Lord Stronghold. Now this is a shot. Let's see if we can get... Yeah. Yeah. Get a little bit of Lord Dohalim's profile. I guess he's not a lord anymore, like he, like he, we always insist on. But hmm. yeah, you know, this is this is even better. I think. <laughs> uh, I wish every game had a photo mode. I wish every game had a photo mode because I'd really like to get a really nice angled shot of that. Ideally, without the UI elements as well. But anyway, <laughs> photography. Yeah, I guess we're not going to, probably not going to wrap this stream up with a nice, tidy sit around a bonfire. I guess we still could, but let's see. Let's see this. Oh, we can jump down here. Because yeah, this, yeah, where we just were, or no. It, I don't think we did explore that, did we? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where I've been at this point. But, honestly, you know what? No. We're going to go back up, and we're going to go back down over there. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't explored that area. And I'm 100% sure now, if by process of elimination, if nothing else, I'm 100% sure now that this area that we were just going into... <sighs> is one that we've already, uh, or is the one that we need to go to in order to progress the story. Get some minerals. More inhibitor crystals. I wonder what sort of items those will be used to make. 
Probably, I guess. Yeah, given the description, probably thanks to resist the uh, arch damage. Ooh, you're, you're pretty badly injured, huh? 36 cure points. You're like almost dead. <laughs> I came here looking for food and weapons, but it's nothing but zoogles around here. Not that I have anything to worry about because of you now. Uh, we didn't... We didn't quite deal with the zoogle problem on your way out, so you should maybe be a little bit careful. Oh well. But yeah, I mean, if nothing else, you know, you may not be able to eat zoogles or use them as weapons, but you could, you know, make weapons out of them. Oh, okay. nope. Okay. Not quite, not quite. Still a break, but not not a boost break, sadly. Ooh, nice, nice. Uh, okay, wait, actually, hold on. Is he out? Hold on, hold on. Is he out? Uh, we did... They did just say... They did just say that we have flyers. And we've never been able to get these, to get these enemies to trigger, like, you know, the effects of... The proper effects of, uh... Chion's uh, boost attack. Like, or rather, they don't seem to... They don't demonstrate any particular vulnerability to it. Hmm. Curious. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so that's a break, but that's definitely not a boost break. Which, yeah, these things are not flying enemies. So it's confusing even to the characters in, in the game itself. This could be useful. Man, we've got a lot of bizarre mega cores. I've been noticing that we just keep dropping them. I didn't I didn't even notice the bird there because it was because it was flying out of out of frame. Ow. It definitely seems like we've been getting a lot of uh a lot of arts with bird names recently. Because yeah, we just got Eagle Eagle Storm or something like that on Law. Then we got Eagle Rage on Dohaline. I just heard... I just heard... Uh, oh, I don't remember what it was now, but... Uh, but Alfin just mentioned some bird-named ability. So yeah, and so the, the windmill that I saw in the distance there seems to... Uh, seems to further... Yeah, further... Add more... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Makes it seem more likely that the area that we're going into is the in air area. By light. I call Wind it area. Oh, so they have special dialogue for if you defeat enemies with their Yeah, with their team attack there. That's neat. Now well, yeah, I was gonna say, the 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 fact that this quest to go to Mahagsar is called Valley of the Four Winds also seems to imply that this is an area that is wind-themed. I just remembered that, which is why I brought up the menu there. Oh, and I just realized... Thinking about how to act around Dohalim. I forgot to I forgot yeah, to change the name of the game again. Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. You know what? Don't Maybe we just wrong. don't need to worry I'm about that. I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. Sit. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Good way to think of Which it. Which in the end pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Mm -hmm. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm well, some of us are pretty wise, I think. Along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? Maybe we should put her back in the party weapon, so she can feel you? like she's contributing more. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... I guess we haven't seen, uh, seen a lot of her... Sorry about that. Jeez. ...used her boost attack a whole lot recently. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? We do our best is what we do. What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. 
But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Mm. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Come on, Law, you're, you're something resembling an adult, presumably. Which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. You gotta, you gotta look after yourself. He could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. Uh oh, you are we gonna get some more recipes? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Uh, what is it? Well, sorry, it's just I was just wondering if you had any thoughts. What are your this. thoughts vis a vis vegetables? It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Uh, certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, of I hope. Of course. Hm. Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rude. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities. Regardless yeah. of who we oh, may is a pretty I'm independent sure no fellow, but I don't think he's probably the sort of person who cooked a lot for himself in his previous, uh, previous life. Think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Mm. A lesson in manners. Oh, are we finally going to <laughs> teach Rinwell to not be kind of casually racist? You look like you're deep in thought. Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Mm -hmm. uh, oh? Etiquette? Mm. Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. Mm, understandable. Be frank, that's being an, an... Forget it. Do we really need to talk about this now? Might as well. Yes, I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. It concerns me greatly. What do you fair want enough, to fair do? Enough. We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Mm -hmm. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you yeah, well not know. Most of the realms yeah. did not value politeness, per se. In so much as they just sort of valued what obedience. Like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the hmm. two of you. So we didn't you solve. Uh, yourself up. We didn't solve Rinwell's casual racism, said, but we did address uh, Dohalim's. I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that. I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out. Man, I'd love to like. see I'd love to see yeah, Law speak no, like Dohalim yes. does. Acting that would be very funny. Isn't really my style. If you say so, how about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not gonna let this go, are you? <laughs> Fun little interactions. I know that that's a, yeah, that sort of thing is definitely one of the things that the the Tales series is known for. Ooh, cutscene. Gonna get a cutscene. Oh dear. All right. Seems like Shion's not doing so hot. Hey, let's stop for a minute. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be What's just up? any any sort of normal fatigue either. My arm is pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. Mm. You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mm. Mahogsar's capital, Niez, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already. I need a break, so we're taking one. Ooh. Alfin is not usually that quite that assertive. I don't need you fretting over me. No, too bad, fretting? because we're gonna do it anyway. Hey, it's not like I'm nope. uh oh. Oh, it's that guy. 
Uh, hopefully we're not going to get a boss fight here. I was kind of hoping to end soon. Been looking for you. For me, why? Well, you are kind of... We are all kind of pretty important uh, in this whole struggle between Rena and Dana. Oh no, he knows how to time his dodges. All right, it seems like we are going to get a boss fight. You said you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. Hmm. All right, very well. Who even are you? Well, one way or another. You won't escape me. Yes, I think probably, given what he demonstrated in that cutscene, he's probably a pretty evasive fellow. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dohalim's ability there doesn't seem to have, uh, done anything to him, but, yes. Oh dear. Alright, that's no good. Uh, hmm. Well, okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get back up, it's fine. Ooh. Alright. Given the, how badly we're doing, I, I think maybe we, well... We're not doing that bad. We're not doing that good either. Alright, if we can keep our his attention on Law, our fastest boy, that should be pretty good. Granted, uh, I don't have any way of consistently doing that, but... Hmm. Okay, I should probably... There's a part of me that wants to say that this is probably a fight that we're expected to lose. But it might just be that we're under level. Alright. I don't like this. What's happening right now? Okay, okay, okay. Please do something <laughs> to distract him. Thank you. Oh, okay. Alright, so maybe we're not supposed to lose per se, but we don't need to, you know, conclude this fight. We don't need to win either. So maybe, maybe that life bottle was a little bit unnecessary. Yeah, nimble this fellow is, for sure. You can do it, Hoodle. <laughs> I believe in you. Alright, this guy. This guy's no good. We didn't have any reason to believe that he was any good earlier. But if he's willing to attack Hoodle, then he's absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, yes. Very well. Then die. Ooh, nice. I was kind of hoping that she took his eye out there, but it seems like not quite. Oh. Apparently. Oh.
Alfin? Shion. Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. With the Master Core, I assume. Well, that was something. <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad. That's... Shion, we thought I'm you fine. were... fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, she was well, probably thinking that you... you were she wanted you to me, live. You know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway... Uh, thank you. But uh, I didn't. You showed concern. That's worthy of some thanks. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Oh, we're learning things now. Uh... Alfin? Sorry, I... Alfin is, is coming closer to an understanding of something. Back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Maybe, maybe. Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, that was, that was some, some high tension action there. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm alright. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. It would be nice if we had an invulnerable no, I, healer. Not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me. But I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. Yeah, it was definitely... I was kind of preoccupied with remember it seeing... it looked... Yeah, we saw something similar. A little it, bit. Between that light and the blazing sword... Yeah, Just we saw something similar when Alfin's mask cracked Ganon the Astralize first time. Like I thought it was going to crack completely. He wouldn't like, know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past. Yeah, I thought it was going to crack off completely Besides, there, which is part of why I was so so shook. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nias, the capital of Mahag Sar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Shion to rest. <sighs> uh, My thoughts okay. exactly. Oh. Mm. Nice law at zero hit points. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say that's pretty unusual after a battle. I guess we'll wrap up the rest of these. Uh, fight? You're not too hurt, are you? Any skits fight, that are going really. on? See for yourself. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I can take a beating if I need to. I'm not here just to stand around and have everyone protect me. I get that. But there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses, too. Mm -hmm. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh, you often do. I can't feel pain. But you still can. Can't you? <sighs> look, I appreciate you're trying to look out for me. But even you go down in fights from time to time. Oh, for sure. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. That's it. I just... All right, anything more to be said? It seems like not, so I think we'll probably wrap up. We are in the middle of things, sort of. But I don't want to stick around for too, too much longer. But yeah, I definitely am regretting using that life bottle now. I feel like probably it wouldn't have mattered too much if we lost that fight, considering that we weren't, we weren't even intended... It's not even that we were intended to lose it. We just weren't intended to finish it, per se. But yeah. I should have... I should have probably trusted my gut there. But, oh well. So. Let's see. 
that has been this has been tales of a rise for what i expected to be just a short stream of me meandering around a little bit uh it did turn out to be surprisingly dramatic we've come close to we didn't quite get but we got close to some sort of dramatic reveal there i've i saw something interesting the vague impressions of something interesting in that sort of flashback that Alpin was having there for a little bit. All right, Twitch isn't responding oddly today, so I think probably my computer's not going to crash. That's nice. So speaking of which, let's uh, get ourselves a raid target set up here real quick. If anyone has a suggestion, as always, I would be delighted to hear it, delighted to follow through on it and all of that. Get all of my ducks in a row here. If not, I would also be perfectly fine with finding a, yeah, finding a raid target. Oh dear. All right, my browser's starting to act up a little bit, which has me kind of worried, but I think we're fine. <laughs> I'm going to work under the assumption that we're fine. I'm going to work under the assumption that we're fine. I'm going to very deliberately believe that we are fine, because if I say it enough, it'll, it will presumably be true. But yes, definitely the crash. The crash yesterday has me a little bit, a little bit paranoid. But yeah, so no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No suggestions. It looks like so. Let's go over the schedule real quick, and then I will pick a a target. Unless anyone has any last minute suggestions, of course. But yes, tomorrow should be more uh, Valhalla with Chevy Sheps. Uh, third or. Er, Tomorrow is Thursday, yes. <laughs> Tomorrow should be more Valhalla, VA11 Hall A, Cyberpunk Bartender Action, with our good friend, longtime collaborator, and friend of the, the channel, Chappy Sheps, and friend of the Tiberius Vanderfield, also. But yes. Um, yes. Where was I? Yeah, tomorrow. That game. With that person. At that time. 8.30 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, Friday, not 100% sure if I will be streaming Friday. Once again, I will do what I can to do so. If I don't do so, then it will be what it will be, I suppose. So that should be everything that needs to be said. And I think tonight, since I've already mentioned Sheppy Sheps, why not go and visit Sheppy Sheps? Yeah, playing uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I think, I think Scarlet is the one that she's playing if I remember from the last time I was over in her stream. I don't know, she might have switched over to a different one, who knows. But yes, Sheppy Sheps. Sheppy Sheps. All right, and the yeah. customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Browser is definitely running a little bit slow today. I'm gonna it seems like I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer than usual to get the ads out of the way. But, such is life sometimes, I suppose. But yeah, good being here, good playing Tales of Arise. It feels like it's been a while, but it really hasn't. We played it like last, last Friday, I think, at the usual time. So, <laughs> I guess maybe I'm just thinking in terms of since it's been, yeah, since it's been a pretty big struggle for me to keep on a consistent schedule. I sort of lost track of when I do and don't play. But yeah, anyway. So, stream is up. I am ready to go. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.